I've been accused. I've been accused of trying to raise a boy. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, what does that mean? <laughs> You're watching the Fat Bidin Vox Pop uh, with me, Aizil, and whoever's holding the camera, I'm assuming is Zan Azli. La. We're shooting today at Art for Grabs. So earlier, Zan uh, listened, uh, sat in on a talk that was talking about the portrayal of women in the media. And uh, it got him thinking about, about princesses and its effect on his daughter. We we're trying to get people's advice on uh, what would be a good way to raise a daughter today. So yeah. Okay, so I am here with Suri Kemper. Okay, Suri, can you tell me? I have a three-year-old daughter who always likes to watch TV and always on the internet. She's on YouTube, and I have this thing with princess syndrome. I'm against it. How do I raise a three-year-old daughter? What are your thoughts on it? I think there's no way to completely eliminate because it's everywhere. You know, you can't cut them off. You can't cut them off from watching cartoons, any kind of Disney Channel one. You will see representations, not even Disney Channel, eh? any, any. <laughs> any channel, any, ki any children's programs, you will see your princesses, you know. But then there are, I mean, I guess the way I, I have a seven-year-old mm -hmm. and the way I do it is, is there are more positive ones that have been coming out lately, you know. Someone, some, some princesses are a little bit more gutsy, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like Princess Sophia, for example. Fine, right? I was just like, all right, all right, all right. You know, you, you can do that. You know, you can take on goblins and take on, you know, the entire system and be cool. And, and that's okay. Recently, um, after Frozen came out, uh -huh. sometimes they do, there are a lot of parody videos about Disney princesses. And there's this one particular one where they're all the princesses. Okay. And and Elsa scary. and Elsa okay. and Elsa talks about how you don't need a man to feel good about yourself. <laughs> so it's taking princesses because what you're not really bothered about the princess itself. Mm. You're bothered by the ideas they embody, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, that yeah. you're dependent on a man. That you need a hero to come along. That you need all of this. Mm. But if you can show them counter examples, like if you have princesses singing about how I can be, I can be, I am of equal value. Right. I can be just as good without a man. Yeah. I don't need someone to come in here and swoop me up and sweep me off my feet. Then that's okay, right? I am very specific about the stories that I read mm -hmm. for bedtime. Memang kita orang tiap malam ada sesi bedtime story. So stories like Matilda Roald Dahl, to, you know, right. for, for three year old, maybe I would tone it down a bit. Lah. I would look for something a little bit more, a little bit more digestible for yep. a three year old. Kan? But I look. I make it a point to look for positive role models for my daughter. Well, I mean, certainly I think the, the whole notion of a princess uh, unfortunately conforms to the uh, a royal uh, monarchistic uh, concept, right? Of, of uh, you know, she being the, the other one, the compliment to a prince and then she will never... And that, and that the princess is journey, the princess's journey, is towards becoming married to another royalty. In other words, becoming, you know, a queen or a, uh, just, just that she will never be complete on her own, lah, right? That, that the, prince, the, 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 the concept of being a princess is that she has, her journey is to eventually either help to uh, solve a war by marrying the prince of another country or uh, one day herself becoming the queen or whatever. What, what, what I would be very interested in is to see uh, how the, you know, girls are uh, taught that their journey do not always need to be dependent on men. That their journey do not need to be, uh, the completion of their journey is for themselves. You know, their own ideals, their own goals, rather than uh, needing to be with a man in order to be completed. Yeah, so I think the, I think, you know, maybe one way to do that is to be a princess and then change the meaning of that of a princess. Or to be a princess who's, who doesn't need a prince or a king or, you know, or to be a princess who wants to be a prince or a king or uh, who wants other princesses. I mean, there are many ways of uh, negotiating with that. And I think what would be very exciting is for young girls to be able to be uh, uh, challenged or, or freed from structuring their own life's narrative yeah 
uh, around other men. <laughs> you cannot really shield them from whatever uh, elements that you you see uh, not appropriate or whatever shit is this. Uh. So eventually they will know. So you expose them to whatever, to to the the good, uh, bad and ugly side of things. Uh. So. We just, uh, as long as we expose them to the opportunity, the good sides, and wherever they seem interested to it, we nurture them, guide them, so we hope for the best. Uh. As a human being, you just do whatever, uh, you contribute as much as you can as a human being for the betterment of a human race. Doesn't matter, lah. male, female, in between, you know, as long as you do good things, you contribute to the, to the society. Doesn't matter. Uh, what you do every day, just every day, just little things that you do in front of your daughter matters a lot. And even how you speak to your daughter. Don't assume that she's three years, she's a three-year-old girl that she doesn't really know how to think. So when you speak to your daughter, you really uh, show that adult side of you. It's okay, actually. People, the girls want to be mature. Actually, girls, they tend to want to grow up. Uh, rather than men, they just want to be boys. Like yeah. <laughs> but girls, they have this tendency of, you know, I want to be like a woman, I want to be a woman. So when a guy, when a father actually treats her like a woman, that would be very amazing. Yeah. Yeah, for me, you don't have to tell her. You, you compare. You ask her, what does she think of Sleeping Beauty? Uh, Snow White, okay. What does she think about Snow White? And what does she think about the girl in Frozen? You need to see her own opinion without injecting any thoughts. In her, let her think. She can differentiate which is better. The previous kind of Disney girls or the, the, the current one. They, they can think. You have to allow them to think back. It okay, should be a two-way okay. communication. You shouldn't just put a lot of things inside her mind that's brainwashing. What you should do is that... You know, like, you're a smart girl. What do you think? Would you be Snow White or would you be Frozen? If she chooses Snow White, ask her why. She might have a very, very, uh, very good reason for that. You don't, you never know. So yeah. you, what you're saying is, you gotta trust her, lah. Yeah, you gotta trust her. Okay. Let her become a woman on her own. Okay. She, she will know how to think. Yeah. Okay. So we've heard what they said. Uh, this whole weekend up for grabs. Uh, I was here selling my books. So make sure you buy. You can buy it online at fatbidin.com/afghanadventures. Uh, but yeah, okay, so Art for Grabs this whole week, uh, this whole weekend, they were talking about gender equality, women's rights and women power and all that. So that's what you heard, right? People giving me advice on how to raise it at Athena so that she doesn't become a, a, a princess. So yeah, listen to our podcast. I'm sure you have already listened to it, right? Talking about this issue. And um, now you get to watch the Fat Bidden Vox Pop. Uh, so yeah, just subscribe to youtube.com slash Fat Bidden. Uh, and... Or, Listen to the podcast on soundcloud.com slash fatbidin or, or everything on fatbidin.com.